Hello, everybody. Uh, a little bit of lag in the video, it looks like. That's okay. Um, we're just going to jump right into it. Today is by request day. We've already got a couple requests in from um, one of our members, so that'll be the first one we get up. But I also got some other requests from some of our regular students, so we'll do those too. Again, remember, today is by request day, so if you're tuning in, uh, give a shout out what you'd like to learn how to draw today. Okay, let's get ready to draw. <laughs> I have from one of our members for a horse. So here we go, a horse. Okay, here we go. A uh, horse. We're going to start with the eyes. So I've got an oval. Eye just right here. All right, pupil here, and a pupil here. All right, then we're going to come down, up, down, out, up. I'm going to stop there. Whoops. I accidentally uh, hit the wrong button there. I meant to hit the logo, but that's okay. No worries about that. There we go. All right. Okay. Line like this, down, out, in, up. And I'll stop there. Okay, teeth down, in, and then a line down, and then you're just going to add a couple lines to show the teeth, and then oh, maybe a little bit of a gap there. We are starting with a horse today. One of our members uh, requested a horse, so um, one of the perks of membership is their requests always sort of go first, so... But we're still going to get in everybody else's request, too, so no worries there. Nostril. And then in, up, around like that. Hi, Max. Eyebrows. Now the main. That's the top part of the main there. Very free flowing, don't worry, you don't have to get it exactly as I do, obviously. Ear and then why the rest of the mane here? And 
And then the other ear is just going to stick up from behind like that. Going to pause for a second while everybody catches up on those. All right. Down and in. Down and around. Out for the legs. I'm going to start with sort of a letter V. Out, down, over, up, over, and then follow this line back up again. Like that. Good. And then I would color in the fluff there. Other leg, right back here, out, down, out, over, up, and in, like that. And then, of course, coloring again. I'm going to do a little uh, reverse here. Leave some white lines in for the hoof, but not something you have to do, just something I wanted to add. Hind legs. Same thing. Uh, that leg's up a little bit, so that what we're going to do is the leg behind it is going to be down. But let's go ahead and get that one done first. Good. In. And then this leg is down. Just a slight little gallop there. And then we color that in, color that in. And then a tail. A couple quick wispy little lines for the tail. And then same thing, I like to just, uh, since I'm working on a computer, I can add a little bit of white there. But not necessary. And then sign your name, take pride in your work. There is your horse. So I'll leave that up for just a second. Next up is going to be a fish reading a book. And I believe the fish is wearing glasses too. Quite a lot to do, so we'll start that next. All right. Bye-bye, horsey. Fish, wearing glasses, reading a book. All right, so let's start with the glasses. I'm going to go with sort of rounded glasses. Thick black rim rounded glasses like this. Circle. Circle. This circle is slightly smaller. If you pick up on that, just slightly smaller to add... A little bit of perspective there. Pupils. And the arm of the glasses. Looks like he'd be a cousin to my friend Charlie the Tuna. Going down, going down, going up. Yeah, definitely one of Charlie's relatives, I think. Out, in, and a tongue. Yeah, he's... Definitely one of Charlie's relatives. As you guys know, I, I like to draw Charlie. Uh, good friend of mine, Charlie the Tuna. Little bit different, though. There's a fin. 
And then we're going to add the book. <laughs> That's part of the book. The spine of the book. Okay, then just connect right like this here. Okay, and then out. Round. Couple gills. Like he's a very bright fish. He's a, I think like he's a teacher maybe. What do you think? Of course he's a teacher because you know why he's a teacher? Because you always see fish in schools, right? He's a teacher because fish are in schools. I haven't gotten to use that in a while. That sound effect. <laughs> I think we need to do another dad joke day next week. What do you think, guys? Should we do a, guys and girls, should we do a, a dad joke week next week? Scribble, circle, and a little tassel there. Let's color this guy, okay? We don't, we don't, we haven't done any color yet today. I'm going to just go with sort of these uh, goldfish type. Like a carp. I'm just going to color him in. There we go. A little splash of color. And then lastly, we need to add the eyebrows. I forgot to add eyebrows there. He was looking a little off to me. I couldn't figure out why. That's why the eyebrows were missing. <laughs> Everybody said no to, no to dad joke day. Oh, I'm so disappointed. All right, then. Uh, so there is our fish reading a book. Next up is just a giant cake. Giant cake. All right. Giant cake it is. Pretty easy. Uh, up, over, down, over, and connect. That's layer number one. Up, over, and down, layer number two. Notice the angles on this. I like it to be nice and just sort of wonky angles. And All right. And then I like to add just a little bit of design to it, like this. Okay, nobody wants dad joke day. My daughter doesn't like dad joke day either, so. Oh, well. <laughs> I think we should turn the ski loop into a uh, song. Did everybody see the ski loop? That was the day where it just got stuck and was going ski, 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 ski. It was kind of bizarre. I might do something with it. Maybe that'll be my next theme song. Um, candles are rectangles, slightly smaller rectangles, and then 
flames and slightly smaller th flames. So kind of see how that works? It's a rectangle, a smaller rectangle, a flame with a slightly smaller flame. Rectangle, rectangle, flame. You got it now. Now, I don't really know how many candles I'm doing. Um, you know, you could space them if you have a birthday coming up and that's how many candles you want to put. Um, go ahead. I'm not going to draw 50 candles because I turn 50 next month. And I hope you'll all be here to celebrate with me. Now, maybe one more. How many candles is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anybody here? Eight. I don't think we have anybody who's eight. Now, I'm going to go ahead and color this one. Um, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Put a little dark on that. I'm going to go like a green on the candles. Or maybe I'll do multicolors. We'll just do a bunch of different colors for those. What do you think? But I'm going to go pink on the uh, icing. Aria, your dad is right. Every day is dad joke day. Oh, Max, you're seven. Okay. Excellent. Ah. Accidentally colored that in a little too much. There we go. Now, um, you know, you would write on here if it's somebody's birthday. You could write on the cake, happy birthday. Joe, because <laughs> my birthday's coming up, so you can put whatever you want. Hi, Preston. Okay, so there's our cake. Well, we have a new viewer, uh, Preston. Hi, Preston. Preston, request me to make a car. Not something we do a lot. We do sometimes. Sometimes we'll draw um, in animate objects and such. But I think we can have some fun drawing a cartoon car. We'll give it a little bit of personality. Okay. All right. So a cartoon car. All right. Here we go. Cartoon car. We're going to start with, uh, let's start with the headlights. One and two. And let's just add a circle around those two. Okay, one and two. Okay, then a bumper. Come up around, around, follow through, and back in again. Line connecting. And then a hood. So line up here. John, I, I have drawn myself sometimes. I Actually, there are some videos of there. That's actually a pretty <laughs> common request, believe it or not. Over. Down. 
And then I'm going to bring a line down here and here just to complete that hood there. Okay. I'm going to uh, now come in just a little bit here. Come up, over, down, up. This is very tricky. Over, leave a gap, over, down. Those gaps are going to be sort of important um, because it keeps the car all connected as one piece. And We're going to add mirrors. Mirrors just look like this. Don't worry if you don't get this exactly right. Cars are very, very tough to do. Uh, Max, catfish on the beach. Okay, that'll be next. All right, now the um, fender. Come up, down, around, and in. Okay. And on this side, out and in. Over, down, and in. Over, up, around, and down. It's the perspective that's always really tough on cars. Okay. Up, in. Up, over, and in. Now we got to touch up to sort of cheat the perspective a little bit. So we're going to have a line here, here, and here. little line down like that and a little line across like this we're going to humanize it a little bit car runs off the page don't worry about it all right now the wheels we're gonna add circle line and then up and then line over and up now this is a little yeah it's it's funny looking car we want it to be sort of a jalopy so i'm trying to make it look like it's falling apart and struggling to skate stay together All right, let's add a circle there and a circle there. And then we can sort of shade in the wheels a bit. Okay, a couple lines for the door. little wonky door handle Lots of rust. <laughs> All right, some rust. And then I'm also going to use 
I'm going to, this is stuff I'm adding in color, so you know what that is. I'm going to add some duct tape, sort of holding it all together. So I'm adding this sort of gray, and then I'll go back and outline that with bolts and some dings and dents. Crack in the window there. There we go. There's our clunky, junky old car. All right. Uh, as always, uh, sign your name. Take pride in your work. All right, let's see. I've got uh, Catfish on the Beach next. Catfish on the Beach. Um, oh, the dragon one, I'm going to post separately because I've had a lot of requests for a European style dragon. So I'm going to post that outside of the class uh, as a separate one. So uh, time for one last one. Oh, wait, I got another really good request. Um, Kelsey asked for a llama. So you know what? I'll do two more. We'll do a catfish on a beach and then we'll end with a llama. So I'll go a little bit over time today, but that's OK. All right. Catfish on the beach first. sunglasses so rectangle and then a letter B on its side and then what I want you to do is you're gonna leave a little bit of white space in here and then color in the rest of that that makes us some nice sunglasses All right, down and up. Got a tongue in there. And I'm, I'm going to add a splash of color to this, I think. But we'll wait till I finish. And whiskers, they have these sort of. Up, around, a little fin there. Let's make him sitting on a little um, chair. So we just draw a rectangle, line up behind the whiskers and over. Okay, and then we're going to come down, around, up, down, around, up, across, across. Okay, there we go. Then we just see a little line here. That's it. Down. Round some gills, some eyebrows. Oh, I feel like he needs one more whisker like that. Okay, and then he's on an easy chair, so we come down, over, up, down, over, up, and then add quick lines like that.
Should you be sipping like a lemonade or something? I feel like you should. Um, I'll let you finish up. I'm going to color in right here too. Just the inside of the mouth. Maybe a line there. All right, holding a little lemonade. Just draw a little rectangle shape like that. Up, around, down, and up. And you can add a little straw like that. Almost done. Two little lines on the stomach maybe like that. And then if we want to just make it a little more uh, obvious, he's on the beach. Maybe there's, you don't have to add an umbrella. I'm just going to do that as a quick sketch like that. Oops. Can't get rid of that. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your catfish on the beach. Well, time for one more, and I see a request from Kelsey for a llama. Yes, well, we can certainly draw a llama. Absolutely. You want a llama? A llama it is. All right, here we go, llama. Bye-bye, catfish. Hello, llama. We'll start with the eyes. So you've got a circle with a line across and the pupil. Okay, down, out, in. out, in, down, up. I'm going to pause right there for a second, okay? Just want to make sure everybody is all caught up. Okay, in and around like that. Good. Please remember to like and subscribe if you are having a good time today learning how to draw all these fun characters. I've got a little line there for the tongue. And then I shade in. Okay. Good start for the llama. Now, you've got the little, you've got sort of the floofy, floofy hair and then an ear. And an ear here. It's just texture. You got to really sort of now. I've got a side profile, so I'm going to actually go ahead and add the other eye, just sort of sneaking in there. And then I'll add the eyebrows. Leg over. Leg. Leg, leg. And the feet down and up, down and down and up, down and up. 
line across, line across, line across, line across, and then just sort of shade that in real quick. I'm going to add a little bit of just separation there for that one. Ah, <laughs> must have left a little opening somewhere. I really think you left the opening, Mr. Joe. Let's see, that looks good. There we go. And there is the Floofy Llama. Hooray for llamas. Yes, I love llamas. Okay, so let's end this up by signing your name. Take pride in your work. Nicely, nicely done, everybody. Very proud of you, as always. Excellent job. Don't know why that never... Uh... Excellent job. Very good, everyone. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you all on Monday. Monday for How to Tune. So be sure and tune in for Monday. We're still at our 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. time. Um, as many of us uh, have entered the school year, I know I have. Um, thank you all so much. Remember, you can always uh, send in requests. You can post them in our um, community section. And uh, I'll be posting some more videos about some special appearances I'm going to be doing at festivals. I have not set uh, next week's schedule yet. I will post the schedule on Sunday. So always check on Sundays for next week's schedules. You can always get in some requests. I'll probably post a few extra videos this weekend too, okay? All right, everybody, thank you. I will see you on Monday, so stay tuned. Thank you, everybody, and have a great night. Bye-bye. See if we can play my video today. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>